Hi, my name is Pranath. I'm a student doctor. Can I confirm your name and date of birth, please? I'm a Benjamin. I was born in Philip, December 1995. Hi, Benjamin. Nice to meet you. So, what I've been asked to do today is do a cranial nerve examination. These are the nerves that are coming out of your brain. So, we'll be doing, I'll be asking you to do a couple of things, and then I'll explain to you the details of these things along the way. Is that okay with you? Yeah, be fine. Okay. Before we start, do you have uh, any questions for me? No. Okay, perfect. So the first nerve that we'll be examining will be the olfactory nerve, which is your sense of smell. Okay. So in recent times, have you noticed any changes in your sense of smell? No, be fine. Okay, all right. So now if you could just close your eyes for me. Okay. And then cover up your, close your eyes, and then cover up your right nostril. And then tell me what you smell. Coffee. Okay, all right. Now you can close your other nostril. And tell me what you smell. Citrus. Very good. That's great. Thank you. Our uh, sense of smell seems to be intact at this point in time. Uh, so the next nerve that we'll be examining will be the optic nerve. And so the first thing I want to examine will be visual acuity. So uh, if you can, how's your vision been? So yeah, not too bad. Pretty not too bad. Any changes in your sight? Yes, I mean, no. Okay, good. And so ideally to complete this examination properly, I would do the Snellen test to see what your vision is at. Okay. And that would be doing at six meters away, and then uh, this examination will be testing each of your eyes individually, and then we'll have a score for you. All right. Okay, perfect. And also to assess color vision, or deficits in color vision, we'll use the HDR chart. Okay. Okay. So the next thing we'll be doing is we'll be checking your field of view, if that's fine. Okay. Okay, so to start with, we'll start with your left eye. If you can cover your right eye for me, like right. that. And now I'm going to cover mine, right. and uh, close my eyes. And can you see the light over there? Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Now can you tell me when it's out of your field of view? Mm, still see it, still see it, still see it, still see it. Uh, it's almost gone, you can't really see it though. No. Okay, good. Now we'll try that again. Can you see it? Yes. Okay, keep looking at my eye. No, I can see that again. Okay. Just the eyes coming back and it's not gone. Okay, good. So those were your four coordinates. We'll try to do that again with the other eye. You can cover this eye as well. Okay, now can you see it? Yep. Okay. Yep. And when it's out of sight? Uh, still see it just barely. Uh, yep. Okay. We'll try that again. This way. You can just barely see it. So, no, still see it. Gone, 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 gone. Okay, good. Okay, okay Ben, I think it looks great in my eyes. Hi. And then I'm going to raise my hands. Tell me whatever or whichever hand I open, okay? Sure. That one. That, that one. That one. Okay. That one. It's both sides. Okay. That one. Very good. Thank you. Okay, okay. now Ben, I'm going to examine your eyes more closely. If you can remove your glasses for me and just keep them right there. Yeah. Okay. Thank you. Okay, now if you could look at a point straight behind me and just have your gaze fixed on it. And now look at this immediately. Okay, good. That's good. Alright, Ben. Uh, can you look straight into my eye? Okay, that's great. And now I'm going to make a bridge, if that's okay. And then... Good. Good. Okay, sure. Good. Now I'm going to do something called a swinging step. Then can you look straight into my eyes? All right. What I want you to do is keep your head still and just look at my finger. Okay. Okay. Now just follow my finger with your eyes. Don't move your head. Okay. Okay. The next thing I want you to do is focus on this pen right about there. Okay, perfect, thank you. Conversion test is intact. During all of that test, did you feel any pain? No. Any double vision? No. And I could not appreciate any nystagmus on either extremes of the H test. Okay, all right, Ben. Well, the next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to touch this neuro tip right. at different parts of your face and just examine it. Okay. So this is what it'll feel like. This is soft touch. All right. Can you close your eyes now? Now feel it again. Yep. Okay, that's exactly what you're going to feel. Now I'm going to do the same thing to your different parts of your face. So keep your eyes closed and tell me whenever you can feel it. Okay. Yep. Oh. Yeah, I felt that. Felt that. Felt that. Felt that. 
Well done. Perfect. Thank you. So all the uh, ophthalmic, maxillary, and mandibular branches are intact. Now I'm going to try the same thing with the sharper end. Okay. This is sharp, but it will not puncture through your skin. Okay, so don't worry about that. Okay, same thing again. Can you feel it? Yep. All right, now close your eyes. Thank you. Yep. Hello. Okay. All right. Same thing again with your face. All right. Good. Yep. 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 Okay. All all of the sites and branches of the trigeminal nerve are intact. Mm -hmm. Thank you very much. All right. Now what I'm going to be doing is I'm going to be assessing the powers of all the muscles that are involved in chewing food. Okay. okay. So the first thing is I'm going to clench your jaw and then you're supposed to open against resistance. Okay. Okay. Let's give that a go. Okay. Open. Very good. And now the same thing. I'm going to keep my hand somewhere there and you're supposed to clench your jaw. Okay. Okay. Do that. Okay. I could feel. Okay. And the last thing we'll do is the same thing. Can you clench your jaw again? Okay. Thank you. So both uh, temporalis muscle, masseter muscle, and pterygoid muscle, all of them had intact power of five, and uh, that's a good finding. Thank you. And so now I'm just going to go ahead and do the jaw reflex. So okay. now what I want you to do is uh, I'm going to come on this side of you. Okay. All right. I'm going to keep my thumb on the edge of your chin. Uh -huh. Then I want you to relax your jaw as much as possible. Okay. Are you ready? Uh -huh. Relax it. Like, just let it hang. Okay. Uh, okay, slight reflex there. Thank okay. you. The, the next thing that I want to observe is something called as a corneal reflex. Alright. This is to see if your eyes can react on stimulation of the cornea. It shares the same nerve root as the nose, inside the nose. So I'll stick this cotton bud inside of your nose and you're going to react the same way. Okay. And it won't be painful. Is that okay? Sure. Okay, perfect. I'll get started now. I'll come on nearer this side now. Just look ahead that side. Okay, that was good. I'm going to try that again. So can you look towards me? Yep, thank you. Okay, thank you Ben for this examination. Do you have any questions at this point in time? No. Okay, thank you. Today I saw Ben, a 23 year old male. I performed a cranial nerve examination and assessed the nerves 1 through 6. Um, my examination revealed that there is no peripheral stigmata for any neurological deficit. To complete this examination, I would also assess the cranial nerves 7 through 12, and I would also examine the upper limbs and the lower limbs, and lastly, I would also perform a fundoscopy.